Thank you very much, Hermano, uh, for the nice introduction. And uh, also to, thanks to the organizers for uh, inviting me in, in this uh, nice event. And uh, with this invitation, I had the possibility to discuss uh, with you all one of the, the topics uh, we uh, work on at the Institute for Rehabilitation System at the University Medical Center, Gottingen. And this is the topic of uh, uh, bionic reconstruction of upper lymph function with active prosthetics. So I will uh, use the terminology of bionic reconstruction, uh, meaning uh, interfacing a patient with a mechatronic device uh, to replace uh, lost uh, arm or end function. And uh, this also includes uh, the possibility of having uh, surgical interventions in order to uh, improve the, the interface, the anatomical and the neural interface. Uh, my talk will focus on the upper limb, as you have seen from the title. However, I would like to open a short parenthesis on the lower limb, prosthetics. For lower limbs, uh, we have on the market in several years uh, uh, excellent devices. Robert Rinner was uh, mentioning this also this morning. This uh, uh, an eye level amputation substituted by a, a prosthesis. And for the, with these devices, uh, patients can recover uh, uh, quite good function, as you can see in this video. These devices are passive, uh, as you have heard this morning. Uh, they are not connected to the, to the nervous system of the patient, and uh, they modulate the stiffness at the knee joint, in this case, with sensors on board. Mm. And you can see that uh, with a relatively simple system, uh, you can obtain uh, a very good uh, benefit for the, for the patient. If we go to the upper limb, the situation is uh, very different. We can offer to patients uh, much less in terms of functional recovery with respect to what you have seen uh, for the lower limb. One of the biggest challenges for upper limbs uh, is that we need to interface in some ways the patient nervous system with the prosthetics because we want to use the end uh, as uh, naturally we do with manipulation and with uh, uh, daily uh, living tasks. And uh, if we talk about a system that has to uh, be offered to a large scale number of patients, we have to establish a man machine interface which is accurate, precise, but especially clinically it has to be robust. It has to work uh, uh, eight hours per day, seven days per week. And when we uh, work on the upper limb, we also have to work on uh, a very large number of degrees of freedom. Mm, only the end is more than 20 degrees of freedom. There is much more if you compare, for example, to the system that I've shown for the lower, for the lower leg. Mm. So the uh, problem is much more complicated. 